This is the new Axidraw Special Edition A1, and it also comes in an A2 size. Now, a few things you need to know about this Axidraw. The first one is you need to run it slower than a normal Axidraw, just because it's a lot bigger. Uh, the second one is, obviously, it takes up a lot more space. And I was hoping to be in my new studio by now, where I'd have a special area for this axe drawer, but I'm still here, so I'm going to put it together and see if it sits on a table. And speaking of putting together, the reason why I'm attracted to axe drawers is you don't have to do any building. But on this one you do, because in shipping they just uh, deliver it in a big long box, so there's very minimal putting together. I'm terrible at DIY, so let's see if it goes. Once I put it together, I'll drop in the area it takes up and the prices for them probably now. And now, let me try and put it together. I'm no good at this. I've managed to put it together. Um, which is amazing for me. It was really easy, uh, especially for someone who doesn't normally do that type of thing. The instructions were spot on. So people have asked about the size, so I'm going to measure that now. This is the normal A3 here. This is an A2, so if this was an A2 axe drawer, your print area would be this. And this is an A1, so the print area is these two pieces of card tape measure. So we're just going to quickly measure. If you needed a space that is 110 centimeters wide from the back of the machine, that's about 80 centimeters. But of course you need clearance space at the back, which from where we had it is 60 centimeters, 60, 60 centimeters. So you need 80 here, 60 here. So that's 140 centimeters, 1.4 meters and 110 this way. Right, let's move it. Now there's one more thing I need to do before we can plot anything. And that's really technical over here, but I need to make a change to my code so I can now output in A1 and A2 on all of these, and then over here, this is the config file for the Axa Draw, where you have four different models, one, two, three, and four, which is the mini kit. Because I don't use the mini kit, I've just changed the dimensions of the mini kit to the new Axa Draw, which means I can, uh, I can now tell it to use model four, which is supposed to be the mini draw, but it'll actually have the whole big um, plotting space. But evil mad scientists, the people who make Axi Draw, they have all those instructions anyway, and they come through an email. So now that all that is set up, I can output files for the Axi Draw and go test it with a line test. Mm -hmm. 